Hi, I'm Danielle. Hi, I'm Caitlin. And together we're our time of the month. And we're going to be talking some trash today. Yeah, not just on ourselves, but <laughs> on some beauty products that we've used up. Yes, so we have saved all of our empty skincare beauty garbage for the last five years, more or less. Yep. Um, and we're going to talk about the stuff that we've used up recently and give you our very honest reviews. That's absolutely right. Yeah, I have nothing to add. Thank you. <laughs> The first item I have is the Eva NYC Main Magic 10 in 1 Primer. It has argan oil and sunflower seed oil. 10 benefits, one miracle formula. I love this. I especially loved it when I had longer hair and it felt more damaged and more tangly because it made my knots easily combable. It reduces frizz, adds shine, does all those things. And I really like the dispenser. I was gonna say, I've used this product. I kept the sprayer afterwards because whether I make my own sea salt spray, whether yep. I just want to spray water to like refresh some curls, mm -hmm. it's perfect. It is. And it says it's safe for color keratin and Brazilian treated hair. It has a nice pleasant scent. It sort of feels almost like a dry oil that you spray into your hair. Mm -hmm. And I do it when it's damp and then blow dry it and I would repurchase. Love it, love it. I think you can also sometimes find it at TJ Maxx. Yes, absolutely. And um, most recently Costco has been carrying it in a two pack. Costco. Yep. Cost. Costco. You hit a hard Costco. Costco. Um, my first thing is also a hair product. It is the Christoph Robin Shade Variation Mask in the shade Baby Blonde. Don't need that anymore. Nope. <laughs> so perfect timing. This was sent to us by Skin Store um, and I really liked it. So mm -hmm. when I had blonde hair, I found this to be a really effective uh, purple toning mask to keep my blonde bright and more uh, white than get a lot of golden in it. My hair skews really, really warm naturally. Um, and so I enjoyed this. I also liked it better than some of the other purple products that I've used because it's a little bit thicker. Mm -hmm. So unlike there's another, pro uh, is it the Pravana? Yes. The Pravana mask is great. I love how it works, but it ends up everywhere, all over your shower, it's just thinner. because of how thin it is. This is more of like a putty texture. So I felt like I could put it in my hair and one, it's not dripping out of my hair when it's in. And then I'm also not splattering it everywhere. Um, I would definitely use again. I don't know if I would purchase it just because it was pretty expensive. Mm -hmm. I think this is between like 50, 50 and 60, 50 and $70, somewhere in there, which is a lot. And mm -hmm. it is only 8.33 fluid ounces. Yeah. But <sighs> effective. Like if you had a lot of toning to do, maybe it would be a worthy investment. If I just had $70 to spend on a shade variation mask, I would absolutely buy it. There you go. But at the moment I don't. I have another hair product. This is the Briogeo Be Gentle Be Kind Avocado and Kiwi Mega Moisture Superfood mm. Mask. I really like various Briogeo masks. The honey one that's in the little teddy bear, he's my favorite. But this came with that as like a little accompanying sample size, which I thought was really generous. It was two fluid ounces. I actually packed this when I would travel or go on vacation mm. uh, and I did not like the scent. I thought it did a nice job, but I did not like the scent. So I would give, not purchase. Let me give her a sniff. It smells like Ikea. <gasps> oh, interesting. I don't like it. Oh, it's got that sort of plasticky Play-Doh-y Ikea smell. If you know what an Ikea smells like, you know what I'm talking about. But it's about. also sweet. And when you put it in your hair, I mean, it feels great. This smells not offensive. I just don't like oh. it. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was. it's nice. I really like all of their hair care products I've ever tried. I have a very old Olaplex number three that I, so one of the things is that this is expensive. It's expensive and it's only 3.3 ounces. And I, so I, I hoard it. I don't use it as it's instructed to, or as frequently as I would if it wasn't as expensive. So this is very old. It sat in my shower for a long time. I finally did use it up. It's a, it works. I mean, I don't, I can't put my hair under a microscope, so I don't know if it like works. But it does. We'll buy one. It does feel. I should, we should. <laughs> I would love that. Um, it does feel really, really nice afterwards. I do notice that it feels nice for a long time afterwards, as opposed to sometimes when you just do a hair mask. It only lasts like one wash. Um, and I will continue to be using this. I have damaged my hair to the point of no return, and so I'm going to be using this to try and get it back to healthy before I try and like go lighter or anything. Mm -hmm. We'll repur We'll definitely repurchase because I already have smart. Oh, while this isn't completely empty, it's definitely past its prime. This is the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. This was all we were using for years. Okay? Oh, are we actually like throwing things away at, like just because they're expired? Now? Well, Ooh. Uh, 
I'm at, I mean, I'm nearly. That looks like Halloween done. clown makeup. I'm nearly done. It's so solidified on the edges. It would be unsanitary for me to even it think. It looks like a completely different texture. Still has pigment. <laughs> you got anything I can cover up? So I had this in the shade Light 2 Vanilla. I loved this concealer. I would repurchase it, except I have seven other concealers that I'm currently using and loving. Mm -hmm. I don't have a potted concealer though, so that could be my workaround. I really like this. It lasted way too long. <laughs> like, I, it would expire absolutely before I had a chance to use it up. Mm -hmm. It's a great spot treatment too, with like a little brush. Ooh, perfect. Mm -hmm. This was also sent to us by, so this is the Elemis Pro Collagen Energizing Marine Cleanser. It says it's anti-aging. It smells like her aunt's house because she had an aquarium. Oh, it smells like a porter potty right now. Was it? A yeah. porter potty? <laughs> What's a porter potty? Porter potty. No, it smells like a porter potty. Why does that smell so bad? <gasps> oh, let's not do that again. Why does that smell so bad? I don't like that. One second. It does smell like a porter potty. Porter potty. <laughs> I really liked this. Not that now. Now I'm like a little, di ooh. Um, How long do you think it's been sitting in an empty spin? Not that long couple weeks though. Um, I actually really liked this. It's a gel cleanser, which I typically don't gravitate towards. I did enjoy the scent of it. It was like very weirdly nostalgic to me. Um, and I did just feel like this is a great second cleanse. I would never try to use this to get makeup off. And it does lather slightly, but it does not get like very foamy or, or bubbly. That packaging is kick ass. The packaging is wonderful because it just, other than it smelling like a porter potty. Yeah. Um, but you get every single last drop because it pushes up within the tube. I, yeah, I would not purchase again, but only because I have other things that I like better. What if Elemis sent it to you? Yes, 100% I would use it. Okay. But I wouldn't buy it just because I, there are other cleansers I like better, but I did enjoy this one. And if it like found its way into my life again, I would use it. Okay, Alexa. Alexa. Finish this bad girl Woo! this morning. Pew, pew, pew. Yeah. It's the Lancome Advanced Genifique Youth Activating Concentrate. Again, with the packaging, you get every drippy drop morsel out of it, which is great because it's a hundred plus doll hairs. And I use it just in the morning because I like to use something more with an active in the evening time. And like if I'm using vitamin C or something, it's really not best to wear it in the daytime when the sun is out. Mm -hmm. uh, this is amazing. I've tried the dupes and I don't love them as much. This is the only one with the bifidus we like. I'm really sorry to say, although Beekman 1802 Milk Drops have bifidus in them and that's what I use at night and I love it and I will repurchase that because mm. it's like $40 and I'm about to be empty with that. Wow, that's exciting. Literally planned my serums perfectly. I do love it. it this is like if we picked, if we picked like a our time of the month made me buy. If we did an our time of the month made me buy it video, this would be in it. Yes. Clinique take the day off. This. Yes. Charlotte Tilbury. Yes. What else? Um, what was that really expensive thing someone bought? Dior eye cream. <laughs> <laughs> so the next thing I have used up is the milk vegan milk moisturizer. I got it in a sample kit with a couple other milk products. I managed to like score every single she milk did. product in their line uh, last summer, I think. Last mm -hmm. summer or the summer before. But this was just one of the things I found myself really liking almost everything I tried. This, though... I mean, they're not really known for skincare. Well, that's my thing, is I'm automatically like, eh. When it's, yes, when it's a makeup company that's making skincare, like I would say, sure, a primer, yes, absolutely, that's somewhere in between skincare and makeup. But an actual moisturizer, I'm just never going to gravitate towards a company like that, like a Tarte moisturizer. Right, I agree. Glossy, even a Glossier moisturizer, yeah. not really. I will say this little Jim Jam that they sent it in is the perfect depotting, like travel oh, size. Oh, it is, because it's plastic and neon. Yeah, and it's like thick plastic. You yes. save it? Yes, 100%. I'm going to wash it out and I'm going to save it. That's a good um, idea. So it will not have vegan milk moisturizer in it. Probably it'll end up with lube in it. <laughs> That's why I end up depotting. You could also put like thumbtacks in there. For sure. <laughs> or like teeny tiny mementos. Or teeth. Or sprinkles. <laughs> so you would not purchase? I would not purchase. And I like wouldn't even really actively try and get it back into my life. Yeah. Uh, something opposite of that that I actually loved and I do miss it, but I'm really making myself do a one in one out thing. Okay. 
you know, because I'm trying to be responsible, whatever. Mm -hmm. It's the Origins Clear Improvement Charcoal Honey Mask. So Ooh, yeah. they make a charcoal mask, but they also make a charcoal honey. This one is way better. They're both called Clear Improvement. That's really confusing. Mm -hmm. This is where it's at because not only does it detoxify and purify your skin, it's hydrating it and giving you antibacterial properties with the honey. So when you do wash your face afterwards, your areas of concern or redness or if you've got a blemish or something that's calmed but your skin also doesn't feel tight or like you've stripped it completely of all of its natural oils because mm -hmm. of the honey in there i loved this this was my favorite mask to wear when i took a bath uh, because i found i find a lot of clay masks stay too steamy to really dry up mm -hmm. when you're in the bathtub because it's very humid and this one i didn't feel like it did that would repurchase i do miss it like seeing it in my empty spin today i was like oh my god oh, uh -huh. Yeah. I know this also has nothing to do with performance, but I prefer a mask I can see on my face. I agree. I like when a mask goes on and I don't see it, I'm just like, it's not even there. Did I just put like a lotion on? Mm -hmm. It doesn't feel very masky. That's true. Mm. I think I bought this around the time of, well, no, I don't know when I bought this. Probably like a year ago. I, I've been done with it for a while. It's the oh. Skin Fix Barrier Plus Triple Lipid Peptide Cream. Rich Lipid Replenishment Cream. It's vegan and cruelty free. I actually kind of forgot. I really loved this. I definitely said I would repurchase and you I did. haven't. And they make refillable things. Do they actually though? I think so. Because we couldn't find it for a long time. I think they do. So it comes apart as if you can find a refill. And I think I had this in a favorites a while ago and they didn't have the refills because somebody asked. Skin and FX or Skin Fix? Skin Fix. They, it's a different type of pump. Like you pump down on it. I think Drunk Elephant has stuff like this. Mm -hmm. um, Kate Summer Mill. It's a good, it just pumps out like the exact amount that you need, which I really enjoyed. And I just felt like it was doing my skin so much good back when my skin was having a really hard time. I'm just double checking that they don't have a refill. It seems so extremely wasteful that you would have to buy that same component over and over again. Right, especially when, they, especially when they already make it so that it yes. could be refillable. Like why else would they, look. Yeah, it's look. so dumb. This is how I know that I used every single drop of this because this is completely empty. Pumps like this I have always found to be best. I used to love one by Kate Somerville and I always had the same, like the first time I used it, I was like, there's got to be more in here. And there oh. wasn't. Anyway, I remember. Skin fix. Make some refills. I remember way back when, when I was actively using this, that I said I would buy it again. And I probably, I would. I really liked using it both at nighttime and daytime. Mm -hmm. um, it's got triple lipid complex protein peptide protein blend, seaweed, hyaluronate blend, and lily root extract. I would even try it. Yeah, this and sure the jar is made of 26% reclaimed and recycled plastic. You know how you could do better with that though? Make Sell it so off. Fucking refill. Right, make it so I don't have to replace 100% of the plastic. Yeah. Okay, well, yeah, I forgot. Oh, you I wanna take a photo of it and like, I need or to put it in your cart. I need to remember. Yeah, put it in my cart, save it for later. Okay, best, best, yep. best yep. nail polish remover all time. Q-Tex Ultra Powerful. Uh -huh. It takes everything off. It, if you feel like you have a nail polish that won't budge, glitter. Glitter polish. This is specifically for hard to remove polishes like glitter and darks. So this is the only thing I use because not only is it super fast, super effective, it does not suck your hands dry. Mm -hmm. Like they don't have that awful like bone dry appearance where you can see every nook and cranny and then it's like it's white, white and cracky in there. Mm -hmm. These don't do that. I love it so much. I'm out of it right now and I will absolutely be reordering this on like Target or CVS or wherever. The holy grail. I'm absolutely a convert. Yeah, it's so mm -hmm. good. I really don't want to use anything else. And honestly, when I've posted about this before, we often get DMs like, oh my God, I'm so glad you talked about it. It's something that's so dumb. It's $3, but it really does make a difference. I swear. Yeah. Hand to God. Hand to God. HTG. HTG buy this. If you're going to buy anything in this video, this is it. Although I wouldn't say that at all. Um, it is the La Mer moisturizing soft cream. So this little adorable La Mer cutie, teeny tiny little soft cream was, um, we, we got a chance to pick through a sample bin and I grabbed it. I was very excited to try it. I mean, I've known that like La Mer is the best of the best since I was like 12. Wow. Um, it's just one of those things that like you hear, it's got this whole like magical sort of aura around it and like it's people talk about it. It's very popular in the older white woman community. And also like celebrities. I would often hear celebrities talking about they were using La Mer. But you know what? I think we're saying the name wrong. I think it's Lamer because it sucks. <laughs> I was about to say I've never heard anything like that. <laughs> but now I get it. <laughs> this could have been any moisturizer from any brand at any time. 
probably smelled awful too. It didn't smell awful, but it didn't smell great. Oh, I hate that. What was that? What? It's like rose and baby powder. It kind of reminds me of um, Lox Loxiton. Oh, really? A little bit. Hmm. Like when I used to walk by it in the mall. I don't like that. I don't know. Also like a Vera Bradley Before. store. I don't know. Somewhere in between. <laughs> anyway, fuck off, Lemaire. Lamer. I just can't. I just really thought there was going to be something outstanding. And maybe there is. And I just didn't use enough of it. And you have to. No. No. People I online, like even dermatologists say that like ingredient, ingredient comparisons, the Nivea soft cream that comes in that little blue tin yeah. is the same as this. Ugh. That's like what? $5? Right. Like I would rather like the milk than this. I would, I would absolutely rather skin fix peptide than this. I just couldn't believe how underwhelming it was. Don't buy it. No, God. Uh, no, buy it. <laughs> buy it. Buy, with, link, it. buy it with the link. Buy it with the link. <laughs> okay, my last items are bath products. RIP baths. Uh, I recently had surgery and I'm not allowed to take a bath for 12 weeks. And if you know me but at all, it's that I love a bath. It's my favorite thing to do for myself. I just find it so relaxing and I sleep better and I just, it's private time. I'm surprised you haven't like made yourself a bath advent calendar for when you finally can have a bath again. That's a cute idea. Yeah. So before I had my surgery, I was like, the entire week leading up to it, I made myself take a bath every single day. Mm -hmm. And I bought some really fun new additives for my tub. I went to one of my favorite stores, which is Beckett Hitch at Green Spring Station. And I bought this Musi Moon Dance Rest Bath Balm. And it was a little bit pricey. It was 11.50 for one bomb, but I really did like it. It was a beautiful blue color. It had a nice scent of, I think, jasmine and chamomile. Uh, yeah, jasmine, violet, and chamomile. And it, it just was really nice. It was really fresh smelling. It made for a really lovely bath. And I, like, I do still add things like Epsom salts and stuff to help your body, you know, release tension. But it was really nice. And I don't know that I would repurchase because it was so expensive. But if you want to treat yourself, I think this could be a fun one. And also... Or a gift. Really good gift. Yeah, really good gift. This packaging is gorgeous. Mm -hmm. This is so old. I yeah. actually, I can't even tell you how long ago I, I bought this. It's been empty for a long time. I don't know how it didn't make it. I think it just sort of fell to the bottom of my empties bag. And it is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Primer. I did buy the sample size okay, before, I I went, before I went full size. This is in the soft matte. I think they now have like matte, soft matte, and maybe dewy also. Um, it was okay. I didn't find it anything special, which I was really disappointed by because I really love everything else Fenty I've ever tried. But this one on the other hand, I just feel like there are other products that I've tried that I like better. There are also products that are less expensive that I think work equally well, or if not better. So Rihanna, I love you, but this one's a no for me. It's a pass. Will not repurchase. Yeah. Love this packaging though. I do too. It just looks so nice. It does. Modern, but also classic. This is something that I would absolutely repurchase. This is the Ren Clean Skin Care Atlantic Kelp and Microalgae Anti-Fatigue Bath Oil. I love a bath oil. Anytime I do a bath, I like to do a little Epsom salt, maybe a little bubble bath action or a bath bomb, or, uh, and always oil because mm -hmm. hydration is the name of my game. Would you say you're, you make yourself a bath elixir? It is an elixir. A, magic a tonic. Elixir. It's a little tonic. I, I call it my cocktail. Every, mm -hmm. every night it's a different bath cocktail. This uh, was a really wonderful scented bath oil that you just added a couple glugs under the running tap and Gross. it would just sort of dispense this non oily, but still altogether hydrating oil throughout the tub. And I really liked the way my skin felt afterwards. I felt like the scent of this actually did linger on me, which I liked mm. because it's, it's great for nighttime. It's nice and soft. Mm -hmm. uh, and I really liked the packaging. It's a glass bottle. Uh, unfortunately, I dropped it like the first time I used it on my tile floor and cracked the lid. At least you didn't crack the bottle. I know. Mm -hmm. It bounced. It like, boom, boom, boom. Wow. And it still survived. So yeah, would absolutely repurchase. Mm. I really like this entire uh, Atlantic Kelp line. I have the moisturizer and the body wash as well. Is that the full size? Yes. Mm. Yeah, it is the full size. Quite small. 3.71 ounces. Mm. <sighs> Last thing, and I honestly, like, I'm gonna give myself a round of applause for this. I finished a lip product 
down, like it is see-through. Uh, there's nothing left, although I did scrape a little bit out just to put on my lips during this video, but it is the Tower 28 Milky Jelly uh, Lip Gloss in the shade Cashew. Mm -hmm. I This was so good that immediately when I bought it, I went out and I bought another one for Danielle. And I also bought another shade. I originally bought Almond. I still have that. I'm still wearing it. We'll probably be in an empty soon. And then I have already repurchased this during this Sephora sale so I could get 20% 20, 20 off, but I would pay full price for it. I think yeah. it's only $14, 14 or $16, so it's not that bad. But for as much as I use it and as much as I love it and it's so comfortable, I just always find myself gravitating towards mm -hmm. it. It's I have no complaints about it in any way. Yep. I have liked every single product I've tried from them. Mm -hmm. I really want to get into their... The blush and bronzers and stuff. highlighters are great. Yeah, that's what I want to try next. They're really good. That's it. Oh, that is it. Good oh, job. That, oh, I thought you had one more. No. Oh, you no. did it. That was fast. That was fast. Like any split. Hopefully. <laughs> oh, well, we just love to talk about crap. Trash. Shit we're going to throw away. Yep. Recycle. So let us know down below some of your favorite products or something that you just finished up and would you repurchase or not? Yeah, smash or pass. Um, well, we've got places on social media that you can find us. Oh, yeah. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, uh, TikTok, OnlyFans, Foot Finder. <laughs> Comment, like, and subscribe. Please. Please do. It really helps us. I don't think you realize, but it does. It really does. And if you click that little bell for notifications, it doesn't alert you when we've posted a new video, but when you log into YouTube, it says, oh, our time of the month has a new video and you haven't watched it yet. And you should. Honestly, the amount of people that I'm like, every time I see it pop up, I go and watch it immediately. That could be you. It could be you, but it's not because you haven't rung the bell. Ring that bell. Ring my bell. Ring my bell. If you do it, we won't sing again. We honestly don't plan shit like that, but it just happens. Um, anything else? Okay, last video. Next video. All of the videos. Please do it. Uh huh. We appreciate it. We really do. Really, really quickly, what's on your mouth? On my mouth is uh, an oldie and a goodie. It is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk Medium. And then mm -hmm. just while we were sitting here, I did slather on a little bit of the cashew. Nice. Mm -hmm. I'm wearing Buxom Full Force Lipstick in the shade White Russian. It's quite pink. Uh, so I did sort of tone it down a little bit with a more brown lip gloss by Lorac. It is called Ginger Blonde, and I'm not sure that you can still get this, but if you can, I recommend it. Mm. And that's it. And we're gonna... 